Hey there! Today I wanted to show you how to group different items in the SmartThings app. As you move from just a few smart items to a more complete smart home, the number of connected things in your app is going to expand. And just as you might have a set drawer back home for your socks, and a different one for your pants, and another one for your t-shirts, grouping items here simply helps you organize your devices in a way that makes sense to you. So to do this, you're first just going to tap the Things category in the SmartThings dashboard. This is where all of your smart devices live. So here in this screen, you'll see that there are a few individual items, and I've also already started to group items by name. So you'll see things like lights, bedroom, main room, and so forth. And by tapping each of these groups, you'll be able to see the individual things that are part of that group. As an example, let's tap main room. And as a really useful tip, whenever you shake your smartphone, the icons will disappear, and the names that you've used to label these items will appear. Just like that. So let's go back to the things view and create a new group. So here's the things view. I'm going to shake my smartphone to reveal the names of the items. And I'm going to see that one is called Ashley Bathroom Motion and one is called Ashley Straightener. So I know that both of those items live in the same room back home. So I'd like to group them. To do that, I'm simply going to tap and hold down on the straightener. I can move it to organize it any way I want. And I'm going to put it on top of the motion tile. So here it's going to ask me what I want to call this new group. Between the motion and the hair straightener, I'd like to call it Ashley Bathroom. I'll tap Done, it'll load, and then you'll see that on the bottom right-hand tile, we now have a new group called Ashley Bathroom. By tapping on that tile and then shaking my smartphone, I'll be able to see that both the Ashley Bathroom motion and straightener are now part of this group. To better identify this group, I can also give it a custom image. So I'm going to tap on the gear icon, and then tap Appearance, and it's going to give you the option of either taking a new photo or choosing from your photo library to give this a custom image. So here's my photo library, and chances are you probably don't want to identify a woman's bathroom with a picture of me and my dog, but you get the idea. And then finally, if ever you want to remove an individual item from a group, it's super easy. You just go in, hold down the individual item, move it on top of where it says ungroup, and you'll now see it's out of the group and back as an individual item in your things view. Hope you found this helpful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks.